Hey guys, and I don't, uh, I don't want it to seem as though I'm giving venture capitalists a hard time, but the majority of the challenges and issues we have matching founders or working with VCs and, you know, the many VCs, and there are some very, very good ones that we're very close with, and there's some others that, you know, it's early days. But the one thing that strikes me is is the lack of consistency between the VCs. You know, the lack of consistency of process. We've already talked about poor communication, which is generally the case. We've also talked about the obsession with the pitch deck, which is the most misleading tool there is. It's good for them, but it's not good for anybody else. But it's also the lack of consistency and visibility over the VC process. I also feel that they not only hide behind the process, but they also make it up as they go along. You know, it's, it's not clear what the process often involves. Now, some that we deal with make it very clear. Three or four calls to the founders, go through the deck, the founders have to pitch, you know, their proposition and and then very quickly the, the fund makes up its mind and says, yes, we're interested. We'd like to issue a term sheet subject to due diligence and, and, and much more deeper digging. But in principle, we're, we're interested. And then that process continues. And then they lay out the due diligence process. They lay out the decision gates. And then they lay out the the final write-off or sign-off by the investment committee, which is often around the time of the negotiation around valuation and, and what each party gets. And even then, once that happens, you then have the discussion about the, the drawdown of the capital, the schedules, the to-do list, and maybe some milestones, which is also linked to the expectations of the the fund wants to see from the founding and the founding team in terms of progress, sources and uses of capital, deployment of capital, all of those things. But that is a general process that a lot of VCs take. But a lot of VCs, you know, they is it's send me a deck. Okay, well, what happens after that? What's the valuation process? How long is it going to take? Are you going to give us any feedback? And we know the answer is no. We're actually going to ignore you unless we like you. Send us your deck and there'll be no communication and there'll be nothing. And then maybe out of the blue, six, eight weeks later, um, you're invited to a call. And goodness me, the amount of calls I've sat on where the venture capitalist is not friendly, doesn't really give eye contact, uh, asked some very interesting questions and a lot of non-interesting questions and then says thanks very much and when the founder tries to say what happens next all the VC says is I oh, will get back to you it's not a yes not a no um, and yeah that's not good that's not good but it happens all the time and we shouldn't accept it it's 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 not good business practice you know you've had the deck for weeks You've had a couple of calls or one call with the founders. For goodness sake, give an indication. It's a yes, I'm interested. No, I'm not. If it's a no, why? If it's a yes, what happens next? Talk soon.